What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. As you might have guessed, today we're going to be opening two tins. One with Jolteon V as the promo, one with Jolteon GX as the promo. Jolteon V, obviously the newer tin, Jolteon GX from the Sun and Moon era. I know there was a second printing of this tin with newer packs in, so we're going to see what each tin has inside. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and let's see what's inside. So here we are then, I've opened the boxes, got the promos out, we've got our Jolteon V there. Love Jolteon, looking awesome and looking I would say better in this art. Always looks good, but looking absolutely amazing there, the Jolteon GX. And we have the rest of the tins, the Jolteon V on the left, the Jolteon GX tin on the right. Of course, we've got our co-cards. So that's for the V tin. That's for the GX tin. Get rid of them. Let's see what's in the V tin. We have Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Battle Styles, and a base set. So actually not too bad packs. Surprised that we got a base set in there. So, not too bad on the Jolteon V. On the GX packs, we have Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, Darkness of Blaze, and Rebel Clash. So, it is packs from the Sword and Shield era. As I said, I think this tin, the first printing might have had Sun and Moon packs, but the second printing has newer stuff. Arguably, the V tin has the better packs, but we'll see what we pull and see which tin is better. Starting with our Battle Stars pack from the GX tin, let's get into it. See if we can pull anything, any of these packs. If you didn't catch the Astral Radiance video that we did on Wednesday this week, but over there, we hit some absolutely amazing cards from that box. It was insane, so go and check that out if you haven't seen already. There was also a giveaway for some packs in that video. The hits in that set were absolutely phenomenal, but in this Power Stars pack, we've got Pachirisu and a non-holographic Stonjourner. Getting in to our Vivid Voltage, we'll do all the packs from the Jolteon GX box first, and then move on to the Jolteon V tin packs. So let's see what we get in this Vivid Voltage pack. We want to get the Chonkachu. We always want to get the Chonkachu when we open the Voltage. Let's see if we can get it, I hope so. We have got our energy, of course. A Seb Striker, Execute, Wubat, a Blitzel, a Milsery, a Thrumbeak, Reverse Holographic. We do get a Pika Pika. Makes a lot of appearances on the channel. Love a bit of Pikachu. Looking absolutely awesome in that art as usual. So we get something to get the ball rolling on these packs. Next. Darnus Ablaze. Let's get into this one. Again, we both, well, we actually opened some of this recently. We opened an uh, Elite Trainer box of this. I can't, I don't think we've got that many. Oh, that's a green coat card. I don't think we've got that great of hits in that. I'll just chuck it over there. We can go through this normally. It seems to be that we, it's quite hard to pull anything. It was, it was a green, a green coat card. <laughs> so, what? I didn't think he did anything impacted with Green Coat card and we pulled a Charizard B. <laughs> what? Okay then. Note to self, Green Coat cards don't necessarily mean that the pack is a write off. We get a Charizard, thinking we're getting nothing. Okay, not too bad. I get you, I get you. Uh, Rebel Clash next. So far, two Ultra Reds in this tin. Can we make it three with Rebel Clash? So I've seen the code card. This one was a white code card, so we'll do this one properly. There is the code card. Speaking of, chuck that over there. And let's see if we can get something else good. We have Satu, Lombre, Toxel, Litwick, a Clefairy, Voltor, nice artwork, a Reverse, Masquerade, and a double V. Sheep. We get a Sheep Ultra Rare. Not an absolutely phenomenal Pokemon, but still an Ultra Rare hit. Three Ultra Rares out of that tin. Not too bad. Getting in to our. What tin was this? Jolteon V. <laughs> Getting into our Jolteon V. We'll go Battle Stars Chilling Evolving Base Set. Battle Stars to start with. Three Ultra Rares from 
of their sin. That might be a bit hard to beat. Okay, green code card. We'll do it normally. We'll whiff the card trick. Go four from the back. See what we get. We have a gold bat, lip bug, S per roly coly, a reverse mustard. This time it is a non holographic center scorch. Getting in two chilling rain next. I wouldn't mind getting a Galarian Moltres in here if you can. That's the artwork. I do love Galarian Moltres. One of my favorite Pokemon from over there from the Sword and Shield era. My favorite of those legendary pairs, the original ones would be Sapdos, but Valerian Moltres, I think, looks absolutely amazing. So, I wouldn't mind pulling that. We do have a Seb Striker that is a reverse rare and a non holographic goose. So, this tin does need a bit of help. So, if I've only had one reverse rare, Evolving Skies, of course, we want the alternate. Umbreon, if we get that, this team automatically wins. Let's see if we can pull it. We have a heart on the front, a love disc. There's the code. Chuck that over there. And to get into this, can we pull the alternate art Umbreon? Really want to pull that. Probably one of my top ones I want to pull with the Chonkachu. As I said, from Master Radiance, we got so many pulls yet the other day. But I still need, need a few from that set as well. But don't get anything in that pack. So far, not much in this tin. We've got Sword and Shield, base set, as our last pack's open. Can we get some last pack magic? Can we get something? A Wulu to go with our double. This is it. There needs to be something absolutely amazing in here for this tin to beat out the Jolchin GX tin. We have got a Meow, Pikachu again, Maractus. Drizzle, that is an uncommon. Okay, you want us to put up a fight? You want us to put up a fight? We get a Snorlax V Max, <laughs> absolutely gorgeous. That card looks insanely good. This team might have won on this one card alone. This, this card is absolutely stunning. Nice, 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 nice. That will do it for the episode though. I'll leave him there. Ooh, not with the light shining. There we go. I'll leave him there. And let me know in the comments below which tin you thought was better. I personally am going to go for this one because we got the Snorlax VMAX. But let me know what you think. And as always, have a good one.